Hello everyone, welcome to programming career. Today I'm going to solve a problem of hacker rank, a super easy problem basically. Uh, I will solve it live in this video. So let's get started. The name of the problem is altering characters. This is basically a string manipulation related problem. So let's go through the problem first. Problem statement is you are given a string containing characters a and b only. Your task is to change it into a string such that there are no matching adjacent characters. Okay. To do this, you are allowed to delete zero or more character strings. But the task is to find the minimum number of required deletion. So let's go to some test cases here. As you can see here, a sample input. First number is the number of test case five so for a a a a the output is three so what i have to do here is the string have to be either a b a b or b a b a 2a or 2b can't be together so we have to solve this problem to solve this problem my strategy is to compare two adjacent characters like first a with second a and the second a with third a and so on iterating from first to the last element if two elements are same then we will count it and if two elements are not same then we will continue without counting so for first case first a and second a are same so we are counting one second a and third a is same so we are counting one and third a and fourth a is same so we are counting another one so total is three and the answer is also three for the second case the answer is four and if we iterate to the third example first one is a second one is b so we are not counting Second one is B, third one is A, so we are not counting. If we go to this way, we will find the total number which is the result. So let's dive into coding. So I am using IntelliJ, I will use Java to solve this problem. You can use any language and this is very easy problem. So let's go into coding. So I have created a class named hacker rank altering character alt jar so i'll write my main method here public static void main string and in the main method i'll first declare a variable named n so int n and i will take input from my terminal so i have to use a input something so in this case i can use buffer reader or scanner class i'm using scanner Scanner, scanner equal to new scanner. Our input will come from system. So system dot in. Okay. And then I'm taking the input to the number of test cases. So n equal to scanner dot next int this one will take input from the terminal and then i'll declare the input string for all the n number of cases so for this one i'm declaring a string input this is a string array of number n string input 
equal to new string number of element in the string is n so I have declared n number of input as you can see here we are getting an error cause I have declared a single string this string has to be an array of string so now sorry this will be a square bracket not a fast bracket so here I'll define the total size of my string array I'm sitting here n and here we go so after defining the total number of input I have to take the input for this one I will use a for loop to take input of all the cases so for int i equal to 0 i smaller than n and i plus plus and for each of the cases i will take an input Here we go. I'm taking all the input of a single test case. So here one thing is very crucial here that is if we take input of string just after taking input of integer then the enter pressing enter will be counted as a new line which will also get input in the first string. So I have to skip that with a dummy input so so to, to take input fluently i'm just taking a single input of line let's say input i equal to scanner dot next line okay so this line is just to skip the enter pressing a new line to take input fluently in java you can skip this line to understand okay so taking input from my terminal is okay now what i have to do is i have to process the data and return it so our part of taking input from terminal is okay now we have to generate the desired output to so do that for every cases i will write a for loop again and iterate to every element okay for int i equal to zero i smaller than n I plus plus and here I'll print the output so system dot out dot print line so here I'm writing direct directly a function which I will implement later I'm naming the function as altering character I'm giving the input here as input i and this method will generate so I'm create method alter character here as you can see the output type of our method is int and the input is string so I'm continuing and we will return a specific number so we are in the right place actually this function is the main part of this problem so let's implement this function 
where after we get a string let's say the input is a a a a so what we have to do is we have to iterate the string from first to last so we are writing another for loop here string name is s and this will be s dot length we will not iterate to the end we will iterate to the last iterate to the second last element and that is length minus one and i plus plus so here we'll check if each of the character in the string is same as the following character and if both of them are same then we will add that to a variable so we have to use the integer variable named for example result int result equal to zero and we will increment that only when two adjacent element of the string are same so we are writing the conditional statement here if as i equal equal as i plus one if the both are same sorry this will not work in java this will work in c plus plus so in java to access a specific specific element of a string we have to use dot character at where the index is i and is equal equal as dot character at i plus one the both are same with incrementing result variable result plus plus and else we have to do nothing so after iterating from first to last we will get the total value of result which is the answer and as you can see here the total iteration will be length minus one because we are accessing character at i plus one so this will balance in the there is error here because we are not returning anything and this method has integer return type so we will return here the result return result okay so here we go let's test this one so i'm running this problem running this hacker rank run error. I can set anything here I can set it here 0 so let's run it again so if we copy the input from here and paste it on Java terminal let's see what happens And the answer is 34004 and as you can see here the answer is 34004 so I believe this will get accepted here again let's have a quick check what we have did here we are taking input as describing the problem and then we are editing every string from first to the last comparing with adjacent element and if the both are same then we are adding one value to the result and if they are not we are doing nothing so after successful iteration from first to last we are getting the total number of iteration we have to do to find the desired output if you don't understand the problem clearly please 
read the problem statement carefully first so i'm copying the full code here and i'm going to submit it on hacker rank so i'm using java and pasting it here so let's submit first run the code and as you can see sample test 0 1 and 2 has successfully passed and now i'm finally submitting code okay and let's see what happens yay compile success and congratulations i have already solved this problem so there you go if you have any question about the problem or having trouble to understand comment down below i will reply your comment and thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe i will make some more video for very beginner level of programmer so that they can understand okay have a nice time bye bye